week away from the end of the year, starting a new year. But we're here today, praise God, to celebrate a, a day to set aside uh, as the birth of Christ. We realize that um, the odds are that this is not the birth of Christ, but it's a day that recognizes some esteem one day above another, some esteem uh, that day as the same. Um, but we want to give praise and honor to God and uh, to glory to God for this uh, uh, occasion, this mass, this coming together, whether we're talking about families or we're talking about churches or we're talking about the people of God. So we want to praise God and we thank God. Uh, my beautiful wife is here today with us. Praise the Lord. Apostle Margaret B. Shelley. Praise the Lord. She's going to open us up in, in prayer. And um, uh, I want you to long, pray along with us. We realize uh, that Christmas is a time of celebration, but it's also uh, a time of reflection because um, there's things that never stop. Uh, war never stops. Crime never stops. And so as much as we are celebrating this solemn occasion, there are people that are still hurting. There are people that are going through grief. There are people that are going through sorrow. And we want you to know, amen, that um, God is the God of peace, and he's going to bring healing to you and to bless you. Overseer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you because this is the day that you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God, we ask you, Lord God, to forgive us all of our every sin and our every shortcomings. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, build us up where we've been torn down. Strengthen us, Lord God, where we're weak. God, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see another holiday season. God, this we recognize that you are the reason for this season. Without, Lord God, your birth and your resurrection, Lord God, we wouldn't be able to be here, Lord God, on this day. And God, I'm asking you, Lord God, to touch hearts and minds of people Lord God, that they would tune in. Lord God, that they would come in on Zoom. If they would come in, Lord God, on Facebook. If they would come in on Instagram. If they would come in, Lord God, on YouTube. Lord God, all the social media. Lord God, that they're able to come on to. Lord God, you touch the hearts and the minds of the people. Lord God, to join us in service on this day. God, I thank you, Lord, so much for Holy Temple Eats. I thank you for them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God, continue to go before us, above us, beneath us, and all around us. God, you take care of us. Take care of your people, Lord God, on this day. God, we forever, Lord God, give your name, which is holy to praise. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. 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 Again, Amen. we welcome you, those of you that are joining us through the various social media platforms. We welcome you uh, to the Holy Temple East broadcast. Again, we're broadcasting home uh, during our evening, during our, our, our uh, morning worship service, our Christmas Eve service, mind you, uh, from our home. So we celebrate those that are a part of Holy Temple East, and we celebrate you all that are joining us, maybe for the first time. So we are praising God for you, and we thank you so much for being a part of this uh, um, broadcast. We have a word for you today, but before a word, amen, my wife, who uh, is a beautiful psalmist, uh, we're going to have her sing a um, song, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, we've been preaching a message since April, and the title of the message is Help, Lord. 
And um, I'm asking everyone to continue to tune in to us as we continue in, in the message of help, Lord. God has done many great things through this message, amen, that has been coming forth of help, Lord. And the Lord has also given me a song with this song, with this uh, message. So I'm going to uh, sing a portion of this song. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. From the bottom of my heart unto the depths of my soul, help, Lord. We need your help. My soul cries, help, Lord. I'm going to ask my daughters to join in with me. Help, Lord. that you're in need of help and you communicate that 
oftentimes you'll find there are people that come to help you. If you dial 911 and say, I need help, I then need you help. will receive uh, help. Sometimes it's immediate. Sometimes it's a little delayed uh, for whatever reason. But using these words, especially in a time like this, you say, well, everything is good. It's Christmas. It's 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 a time of of gathering. It's a time of mass. It's a time yes. of celebration. Yes. But it's also still you need help. Many of the television shows um, that you'll watch, I uh, have this this elaborate Christmas show, and 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 if turmoil is happening before Christmas, it seems like everything is going on perfectly well. Uh, during Christmas. And that's not often the case, praise the Lord, because the Bible tells us that Satan is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So Satan doesn't take time out, even though we have a Christmas, even though we have uh, a time of we we're calling a celebration. He didn't take time out when the birth of Christ. He tried to destroy Christ. He tries. The, the Bible tells us he comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. That's why it's important. Those two words, help Lord. This is a word that my wife, uh, God gave it to her back in March of 2023. So it's been a series, and we're praying that you'll be able to purchase a book, uh, the, the book, um, very, very soon, uh, entitled Help Lord. Because, yeah. as we said, this word transforms uh, lives, just calling out help. When you say help, uh, yes. then yes. You, 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 you're saying, I need it. But when you pause and then make it the specific Lord, God hears you. What did he say to Daniel? He said, I heard you the very day that you called. Uh, hallelujah. Right now, you ought to say, help, Lord. Help, uh, Lord. Right now, you ought to cry out, help, Lord. Now, help, Lord. if you're not in need, then that's a different situation. But if your need is financial, you ought to say, Help, Lord. If your need is domestic, yes, uh, yes. something going on in the home that you need to fix, you ought to say, help, Lord. Help, if Lord. your need is physical, meaning that uh, something going on in your body, you need a healing, you need God to move, you ought to say, help, Lord. Help, if Lord. you are among stress, say, uh, this is the time that's very, very stressful. Um, mental illness is higher than ever before. This is the time you ought to say, help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Overseer, did you want to say anything? Amen. We thank God so much for what our apostle has said thus far. Amen. About help, Lord. And, uh, and you're wondering where we get this message from. If you go to Psalms, the book of Psalms, the uh 12 division of song in the first verse, amen, and it says, help, Lord, amen, and we find out that there are many times that we need God's help. We, we have even received a lot of testimonies uh, from different ones where they needed God help, and, and God, amen, has brought them out. There's been some, amen, that has had financial trouble, amen, and they didn't see where the finances were going to come from. Thank you, Jesus. But God Thank sent you. help. He sent help, and he, he blessed them financially. Some of them received help from God, raises on their jobs. Yes, Lord. Amen. God had, had, had increased their pay, and some, amen, is walking into new employment. Amen. Yes, New jobs. Amen. And some, amen, been sick. Amen. And God has given them his help by healing them in their bodies. Amen. So many, so many different testimonies where God has sent on his help. Amen. To bless the people of God. Amen. And 
And we want you to continue to seek God, to continue to allow God to move for you. Continue to ask God for his help. Amen. And there's so many. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, Daniel needed God's help. Or else the lions would have eaten him up. But because God helped Daniel, hmm. the lions weren't able to eat them. The Hebrew boys thrown into the fiery furnace. They needed God's help. help amen. Lord. Nebuchadnezzar, amen, he wanted to destroy them because he had put out a decree. So he had to put them in that, in that fire. Sometimes we go through the fire. But God will send help. God will deliver us. God will bring us out. This is the reason for this season. God is helping us. He's bringing us out. He's making ways. Some of you probably wondering, well, what am I going to do for this season for my child? Or what am I going to do for this season for my household? But God will send on help. God will make a way. God will bring you out. God will fight your battle. Yes. He'll send help. I tell you, I'm stirred up, but I'm getting ready to turn it back to the apostle. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. As our uh, overseer was uh, elaborating on help, uh, the scripture um, that she referred to is in Psalms, the 12th um, division or the 12th chapter, or Psalms 12, however you want to um, identify it. But it says, to the chief musician, Shemineth, a song of David. Then the scripture says, help, comma, Lord. Again, David was very specific because he knew whatever situation he was in, uh, it was that he needed God to help. The scripture says, when my mother and father forsake me, the Lord will pick me up. There are times where you can go to individuals for help. Uh, there are times when you can go to your sister, your brother, to your child, to an aunt, an uncle, to somebody that you think that has resources. Then there's a time that you need the help of God because Amen. man can't help you. And that's when you need to be specific to God because man will forsake you. Man will deny you. Even Peter, he denied Christ. But when you know God, when you have a relationship with him, when you can call on him, there are times that are specific that you need the help of God. And we want you to be able to take those two words, those two words and say, help, help. Lord. Mm -hmm. We want you to be able to, uh, to cry out to God. The Bible says, I cried unto the Lord and he heard my cry and he delivered me. Um, there, there, there are times when you Thank need you, to Jesus. cry Thank unto the God. Lord. The Bible tells us again, he says that whatever you desire when you pray, believe it, and so shall you have it. Now, there are times where things seem impossible. It's no way that's going to change. The verdict is already in. The judgment has already been established. The timetable has already expired. You look at a situation where it looks impossible. But I want to tell you <coughs> that with men, things are impossible. But with God, all oh, things are oh, possible. possible. That's what Overseer was talking about with the various testimonies. Uh, that's why you go out and you cry out to God. You say, help, Lord, because he is supreme. He is the creator of all things. He created the heavens and the earth. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No. 
there are things that man will tell you that, see, man will let you down. Amen. Man will, will, will deny you. Man will uh, uh, humble you. Um, man will not allow you to be elevated. He will try to put you in chains. But God is a God of that brings deliverance and he brings healing and he brings salvation. And I know this is not a traditional message. Maybe some people go to Sunday morning worship on Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas, uh, uh, wherever it is uh, on Sunday or the the, 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 that Sunday prior to Christmas to hear a Christmas message. But this is a Christmas message. Yes, it because is. Because we're talking yes. about the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish. God doesn't want you to perish. He doesn't want you to go down. He doesn't want you to be brought to a shame. He doesn't want you, but it's important to cry out to him. I pray this. Um, it's a message that uh, is resonating with you. Uh, those two words uh, have power. Those two words, help, Lord, will change your situation. Those two words will empower you. Those two words will help you endure what you're going through. Amen. I'm not saying your situation is going to change immediately, meaning that you're not going to go from uh, something happened immediately, but immediately something does happen because God begins to know what you need. And then he said in his word, I will supply. All of your needs. Oh, I'm getting ready to give God a praise. Amen. Right now. I'm Amen. going to supply all of your needs. All your needs. According to my riches in heaven. God will supply those. But how does God know that we have a need unless we tell him? Unless we communicate to him? Unless we share it with him? Hosea. Amen. I tell you, it, it, it's just so good. Amen. This this word, amen. And I was listening to Apostle, amen. As he was saying that we need to share, we need to share the word of God with one another in order to strengthen us. You know, we, we need God's help to, to take us through daily, day to day, our day to day activities. There's so much. Amen. That's going on in this world. Amen. And except we get God's help. Amen. Except God take care of us. We're not going to make it in this world. Amen. People cars are being stolen. Amen. People cars are being hijacked. Amen. So many people are dying. Amen. They're being killed on the streets. Amen. But God yet keeps us covered in his blood God. and he takes care of us. Yes. Now is a praying time because we really need God's help more now than ever before. Amen. We got family. We got husbands. We got wives. We got children. We got grandchildren. We got great grandchildren. Amen. Whoever is a part of your family, you got your church family. Amen. We all Amen. Need to continue to keep one another up in prayer because we all need God's help. We all need God to move for us. We all need God to deliver yes, us Lord. in this time that we're living in, in this, in this cruel world. Amen. It, 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 you may be saying that this is not a Christmas message. Well, what is a Christmas message? Matthew's uh, second chapter, now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, <coughs> there came three wise men from the east saying, where is he that is born? Is that uh, the only Christmas message? Yeah. The whole Bible That's it. is a Christmas message because it's all about our Savior. It's all about our Lord and God helping us and God delivering us and God bringing us out and God fighting our battle. 
amen, without his birth, we wouldn't be able to get his help. Amen. We needed Jesus to be born in order to get his help. So we need to fall on our knees. Those that's on drugs, pray for them. Pray. Those that's on alcohol, pray for them. Amen. Those that's out there fighting, amen, prostitution, all these different sins. There's so much sin, so much sin. Amen. You even got sin uh, that you may not recognize that you have. But one thing the Bible says, be sure your sin will find you out. You got sin. You got some good people out here. They don't have the Holy Ghost. They're good people, but yet and still they feel that they can sin, that they can do what they want to do. It's good people. Amen. They need Amen. help. They need God's help. They need God to bring them out. They need God to fight their battle. They need God to deliver them. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, oh, Lord. Oh, I'll stir it up. Help, Lord. Oh, so you go ahead. Praise the Lord. A, a couple things that I, I wanted to say when we talk about this word. Um, yes, these two words are both empowering and powerful, meaning that it, it not only will give you um, the strength, but it's a um, a in a power that is external, meaning that. God hears you. God hears what you say. Just as if you are uh, somewhere and you, you said, I, I, on stranded on the side of the road, and you say, help, I need help. There's someone that's going to come to help you. When you direct that to God, uh, Lord, I need your help. God, uh, help Lord. Then you're saying, uh, I need uh, supernatural intervention. Mm. Uh, I need supernatural intervention. And I'm speaking to whoever is hearing this word um, via social media. I'm speaking to you. Whoever is in uh, our home right now, I'm speaking to you. Whether you are 700 miles away from where we are now, whether you're a thousand miles, or whether you're 5,000 miles away. Um, I'm saying to you, use these two words and you're going to see intervention. intervention. You're going to see God move. You're going to see the power of God uh, manifested. Uh, the scripture says uh, in his word, uh, he tells us, he said, I've not given you the spirit of fear. There's not doom and gloom. It's not, uh, we're not going to make it. Uh, this is the end. Uh, as we were uh, talking earlier in, in one of the great songs, um, that gospel song, it's not over until God says it's over. That's what we want to communicate to you. It may look like the situation that you're in is dire. Uh, and, and I'm speaking to you. I'm ministering to you. By chance, you find this message on social media. You hear this word. I want you to use those two words uh, in the midst of the situation that you're in. Help, Lord. Help That's Lord. All, only help two Lord. words that you got to use. They say, help, Lord. And you're going to see God intervene. And we want you to share that testimony with us. How did you use those two Theophoric words and how deliverance came, how God was able to bring uh, a miracle in, in, into your life, how God was God, how God stepped in, how God intervened, what happened? I know these two words were given to my wife and I to communicate to the church. To the people of God. People, you will yes. see God bring deliverance just by calling on his help. Help, Lord. Those words of power, those words 
uh, are, are supernatural. Those words are divine. Hallelujah. David used it over 2,000 years ago. Praise the Lord. We don't know whether it was the situation where he was running for his life because his son Absalom had betrayed him and was out to destroy him. We don't know whether or not it was in the days where Saul, the king at that time, uh, was out to slay David. But we know that it is a situation of great peril. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you right now. And David used that situation not to think about or go into depression. He didn't use the situation to go to uh, the bar. He didn't use the situation to uh, go yes. to um, uh, man. He used it as a situation to yes. go to God. He used it as a situation to go to the Lord. To the Lord. Um, uh, that's what we want to communicate it to you. Uh, in, the, in, in your situation now, what you're going through, um, don't feel despair. Don't feel like this is the end. Don't feel like um, you're all alone. That's not the case. God is with you. God is there to bring deliverance. God is there to bring deliverance. God is there to um, bless you. God is there to bring you out. Um, you may right now be in a situation where um, you're in uh, court and it doesn't look good. Um, you could be in a situation where you have a child that that is uh, in the legal system and they are consecrated, um, not incarcerated, excuse me. They are incarcerated um, and it doesn't look good. But this is an opportunity. Man's extremity is God's opportunity. So whatever you're going to, Use those two words. And as you use these two words and you see God move, I'm asking you to move closer to him. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I'm asking you to develop a greater relationship with him because he has a work for you. He has a calling yes. for you. Yes. He has Lord, yes. a, uh, a destination for you. Praise the Lord. God has something special in your, your life. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Just those two words. Help, Lord. Hallelujah. Those two words are revival all by itself. Um, though you were dead, yet shall you live. God, uh, his word is about life. He wants to bring life to you yes, Lord. in the situations that you're in. Hallelujah. We thank God so much for his word, for his His, his teaching, his, his blessings. Praise the Lord. Overseer, did you have anything else you would like to share? No, I. we're going to let the people go and we're wishing everyone that has tuned in with us on today. We're wishing you a happy holiday, that you would enjoy your family, your friends. Amen. Just enjoy your day. Amen. And be blessed. Amen. And don't forget, Jesus is the reason for this season. Help, Lord. Amen. Help, Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, so we thank God again for you all. Uh, we know that it wasn't a long message, a short message, but in the message there is power and there is deliverance. We praise God for all those that are listening from uh, Miami to uh, California, even those that are in overseas. We praise the Lord for you. and We thank you so much for joining in and being a part of us. Amen. We're going to 
uh, close with prayer. Uh, we're going to pray, amen, that uh, whatever situation that you are confronted with, that God will bring deliverance, that God will bring healing, and we know that it will. We ask you, praise God, to share with us your testimonies on how this word has helped you. And we will share it with the people, praise the Lord. We have numerous testimonies within the church already, how God is blessed. And even outside of the churches, how God is uh uh, has blessed people who we've had an opportunity to minister to, praise the Lord, in other churches. Um, because people of God, there is power in the word of God. Oh. There is power in the word of God. Yes. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful and thankful. Just this opportunity to come to you. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings of this year. As we draw, as we draw to a close this year, we pray God that those uh, who come in contact with this broadcast, uh, with this word, that you will bless them. Lord, have mercy on those God who are distracted, those that, Lord, that their minds have gone to different places. God, pray we pray for those God that. Uh, not only distracted, but God, they, they're going through things that won't allow them to focus on you and focus on your will and your purpose. And Father, in the name of Jesus, remember, I pray, God, our children, yes, Lord. Lord, in your name, we endeavor to bring them up in the ways that they should go. God, but sometimes they go astray. We pray, God, that you would lead them and guide them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, uh, Satan, the Lord rebuked you. The blood of Jesus is against, against you. you. God bound you right down. Right. I come up against every foul, evil spirit that comes, Lord, to bring people down. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord God, to allow others to understand the seriousness of of your word and what God that we do and the, the work. We pray God in your name that you would go with those that are traveling, that you would give them traveling mercies. We don't take for granted your traveling mercies, Lord. We, we realize God, there are accidents, there are catastrophes, but God, cover your people Please with your blood. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father God, I ask you, Lord, in your name to give people peace during this time. There are some that have lost loved ones. God, go with them. Lord, help them through this time, through this uh, time of grief and this time of sorrow. God, I pray, Lord, that you would allow your people to be blessed in Jesus' name. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. I would just like to say before we close out, if there's anyone that would like to be a blessing unto this ministry, we're asking you if you would send an offering, a donation, whatever God leads on, leads you to do. Amen. We're on uh, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Holy Temple East. We're also on Apple Pay, amen, 410-258-5594. We're on PayPal. Uh, PayPal is dollar sign. Um, Holy Temple East. Holy Temple East. So uh, we're asking you, or you, you can also send Zelle, 410 258-5594 or you can call in your offering 410-258-5594 and we're asking you if you would bless us bless the ministry to cause the ministry to be able to go even further amen that we could send this message out to people amen even further so we're asking everyone, please, ma'am, and please, sir, remember, help 
Lord. We need your help, Lord. Help us, God. God bless you all. Enjoy your holiday. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long And I